In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to style your Divi buttons and make them look really cool. So when you first add your button module, this is the style that you get. And as you can see, this is pretty standard. So ideally, you wanna customize them and make them really look awesome. So as you can see here, I have five examples. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to create these five different styles. Now, before we begin, if you're brand new to web design and you'd like to design professional looking websites with Divi, I have an affiliate link in the video description below. If you buy that uh, Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. The link to that is in the video description below. Once you've bought it, just let me know by sending me an email and I will send you a link to sign up for the course. All right, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to create these five different styles in Divi. So let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages and click on add new. So we can name this whatever name we want, but of course this is just me showing you different ways or different styles that you can do to your buttons to make them look awesome. All right, so I'm just gonna call this page buttons. I'm gonna use the Divi Builder. And for this, I'm gonna build everything from scratch. So I'm gonna choose this option here, start building. And let's start off by adding two equal columns. And of course, we're going to add our button module. So as you can see, when you start off, this is the uh, default way or the default look that the button has. So ideally, we need to customize this and make it look much, much better. So let's just change the text a little bit here and just say download now, there we go. So now we can go in and style it. So to style the button, you need to come over here to design button and then activate use custom styles for button. So you'll notice that every time we go in, we're going to be going into this option here in order for us to make changes to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this for now and then we're just gonna duplicate this and add it over to this side because we're going to be making quite a few of these designs. Okay, so let's go back over here to the first one. So what you need to do here is to, first of all, the first style that you can do is to uh, change this basic layout here to add your colors. So when it comes to the colors, there's two ways we can do this. The first way I'm gonna show you is to add a background. So here we're just gonna add a background color like that. And then we're going to switch around the, um, the text color here. So we're gonna go with something like that. So when you switch it over like this, what happens is you also get this border. So sometimes you may not want that border. So what you can do is to come over here to border width and remove that border. So as you can see, we've uh, quickly stylized this button and we've made it look different from how it is out of the box with Divi. All right, so moving on, there's a few things that we can do here as well. And that is to change the font. So here I can go with, uh, let's say Roboto, for example, and I can also make it all caps. And I can also add some letter spacing. There we go. So as you can see, just by adding a few tweaks to this button, I've actually customized this button to make it look like our own button. So once you're done with that, uh, what you could also do is to change our weight to medium or you can change this to even bold. There we go. So now you have a beautiful call to action and we've just designed that from the basic one. So let's move on to the next example and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm gonna come over here. Again, I'm gonna click on this gear icon. Then I'm gonna to go to design button and use custom styles for button is activated. So this time I'm gonna use a different color. So as you can see, if I, if I do this, what happens is this just gives my button a totally different color. So if this is the style that you wanna go with where you just have an outline, this is perfect. But the next step or what I would rather do next is to maybe make this border a bit bold. And then I wanna come over here to my text. Let's choose, let's choose Poppins for now. There we go. Right, so I'm gonna make it all caps. I'm also gonna change the font weight here to bold. And I'm also going to give this some letter spacing. There we go. So there you go. So that could be our button. So as you can see here, we have this overstate. I can also change this 
So let me show you how to do that. So to change the button hover state, you want to come over here to the border. And then you want to click on this icon here. Click on hover. And this is where, you know, you can test it and see if this is working. So as you can see here, uh, our hover is working. But what you may want to do to make this button work is to make this color either darker or lighter on the hover state. So let's try this one more time. So that's the normal, that's the hover. So once you choose this color here on hover, okay, so on hover here, what you wanna do is to copy this color. So you wanna copy this hexadecimal code. And then, because as you can see here on the hover, the, the font color here doesn't look great. So we need to go and fix that. So I'm gonna go back to my text color. So on my text color, I'm also going to click here and add my color by pasting it in here like that. So now when we hover over this, this is going to look different. So let's save this. And now you can see when I hover, in fact, this doesn't look great because um, I need to exit the Visual Builder. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna exit, make sure everything is saved. And then now when I hover over it, you can see now that the colors have changed. Now let's go ahead and let's continue customizing our buttons here. So the next style, I'm gonna go in here, and this time I am going to, in fact, let's activate use custom styles for button. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add our background color for our button. So I'm gonna come over here, add my background color. Now over here on the text color, I'm going to use a very light color. Let's go with, you know what? We might even go with white to make this color really stand out. Okay, so next moving on, here we have a border width. I'm gonna get rid of the border width and then the border radius as well. I'm gonna get rid of that. And then on the letter spacing, I'm just gonna add maybe one pixel is fine. Change my font. I'm gonna use poppins for this and I'm gonna make it all caps as well. And I'm gonna change my style here to semi-bold. Okay, so that's looking great so far. Now what we're going to do next here is to change our icon. So I can change this icon to whatever I want. So you can see here, I have this arrow. Now moving on, what I'm going to do different to this button is I'm gonna make this button nice and big because as you can see here, there's no option really to change our button to large, small, and so on. So I'm gonna come over here and go to spacing. So this is where we can add our padding and you can start off by increasing it like that. So let's go with, let's go with 20 and then left and right. You can also increase this and you can see now that our button has really got massive. So this is how you create a bigger button by adding your padding both to the top, bottom, left and right. There we go. And our arrow there is working as well. So this is a bit too much. Let's bring it down to about 48. Okay, so I think that looks great. Now, what we may also want to do here is to change our hover color on our button. So I'm gonna come back over here and for our background, so this is where you need to add your hover. So I'm gonna come over here, click on this arrow. So on the hover, I can make it lighter or even darker. So I'm gonna play around with my colors here. So we just want to add a very subtle change here, as you can see. Those are our states. I'm going to save that. And pretty much our design is done. All right, so let's move on and let's do our final design. So let's go ahead now and click on Edit Module Settings, Design, Button. So what I'm going to do different here is I'm going to go in and add a border radius. So here I'm just gonna add 100 pixels and you notice straight away our button now has changed. So now I could go in and add my button background color. So for this one here, I'm gonna do something different. Let's add this green and then I'm going to remove the border or if I need to, I can leave my border but make sure that you have the same, uh, the same color for the border width, okay? Now let's change our text color. So over here, let's try something dark. 
Okay, so we're going to go with this color here. And then I'm also going to head over here to our font. And I'm going to choose pop-ins for this. And this time, I'm just going to leave it as small caps. All right, so you can see that's a quick design to our button. And what we can also do here is to play around with the border. So for our border width here, I know we have about two pixels. So let's go and add transparency to that. So you can see here, we are having a different style to our button. There we go. So now I've just added a border around our button and it's pretty much a different color. So that's the style that you could, you know, you could go with. And if you wanted, you could have it like that and then add different transparency. So I can add this very subtle transparency there or a very subtle color. So you just want to play around with these sliders here and make sure you have the style that you want. So I think I'm okay with this design. Pretty much happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, so moving on, let's do one more. This is a bonus one. I'm just going to duplicate this one here. And for this one now, I'm going to go in and add a gradient. So I'm going to click here on design button. So instead of having a solid color like this, I'm going to come over here now and add a gradient. So you can see right away, I've just added my gradient there. So now I'm going to choose my second color. So there we go. And what you can also do here with a gradient is you can change the, di the gradient direction. There we go. So you can see now at 74 degrees, this looks really, really cool. All right. So pretty much these are the five examples or five different styles that you can do to your buttons. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.